Hi everybody, I'm Todd Bailey with SEOservices.com and happy casual Friday to you. Happy casual Friday. Today I have Mike Stricker with me who is one of our resident SEO consultant SMO experts. So thanks for joining us today. Great. Thanks. Thanks for the interview. I appreciate the time. Anytime. And today we're going to talk specifically about reputation management as that is a key buzzword within our industry, within internet marketing as it really gains steam and companies start to understand what it is. So Mike, I'm going to let you explain what really is reputation management. Okay. Reputation management is an issue where your uh, search engine results that you're getting when people are searching for your keywords are tainted or polluted with negative information about you. It can be relatively simple. If you're a restaurant and there are some bad reviews about you, if you're in Yelp Merchant Circle or something like that and you have you know, low star reviews, you've only got two stars and you really wanna be up there at five. So when sufficient negative information is, is promulgated about you in the search engines, your business can suffer. Understood. And how do I, as a business owner, understand if I have a reputation management problem? Okay. Well, the easiest way to recognize it is if you uh, start to see your traffic from the search engines fall off. Uh, you can see the visits to your website falling down, and you may also get some messages from people that say, hey, you know, uh, there's some bad information about you in Google. And you uh, should probably take your domain name on occasion. It's the simplest method. Put your domain name in as a Google search and see if there's some negative information about you. Mm -hmm. So what's so bad about it? Well, uh, your website, as, a, as an e-commerce website, you're going to be getting hopefully about 70 to 80% of your inbound traffic from searches. So if the information in the search engine is negative about you, it's been shown in surveys that about 60 to 65% of people will take that as a signal that they, yeah, it's damaging, they shouldn't use you, they will go away and they'll find another company. Yeah. And that's what's so bad. So if I do have a reputation management problem, how, how long can I expect for it to be remediated? Um, typical campaigns when we're talking about uh, a commercial enterprise, uh, from the time that the campaign actually starts, we, see, we start to see the results somewhere middle, latter part of a second month. Uh, we often have the campaign sometime during the early part of the third month relatively clean and <clears throat> we can have real thorough results even in many stubborn cases uh, before the conclusion of a fourth month. So that's, that's a pretty good time frame. Yeah, that's, that's relatively uh, quick in the grand scheme of things and we talk about some of those stubborn uh, properties that may be out there. Can you talk a little bit about uh, if somebody might want to inquire about legal help? Legal help is a, is a kind of a thorny issue because uh, if you have somebody who's complaining about your business, we've seen instances where uh, somebody really has an ax to grind. And if you try to muzzle them, you may actually just inflame things worse. Yeah. And it becomes part of a negative campaign when somebody starts describing your business as if you're Goliath and you're suing them and it makes you look worse. So it's really grist for the mill and you don't want to provide that. So we would only recommend legal action in the most severe cases where it's clear-cut defamation, libel, slander, and there's really some damages that are taking place. Mm -hmm. Good time to get legal involved at that point. Right. There is a case for it. You know, it just needs to be very clear. Okay. Understood. So is reputation management as a whole, is it, is it really preventable? Oh, yes. Absolutely. Uh, where we want to take our clients is from the from the uh, cure, you know, and all the way to the point where they have proactive uh, activities in place that are going to prevent it from happening in the future. You know, it's it's the old adage about, uh, you know, uh, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. So if you're monitoring the situation and we help all of our clients with that, we give them the tools to set up alerts and know what's going on in the search engines. We also like to train them to figure out what's happening in the social media as well, because there can be negative messages there too, help them stamp out the fires as they're happening, and also take the good stuff and use that as a defensive network around their brand. Yeah, that's great. Uh, really great insights talking about the defensiveness once you clean up that campaign and the, the result pages. So I certainly appreciate you spending the time with us today. Again, this is Mike Stricker, one of our resident SEO consultants, and I'm Todd Bailey with SEO Services dot com and happy casual Friday to you.